Hey there! I am talking today about our journey to creating an indie game studio here in Columbia, Missouri. So, a couple years ago, me and my cousin decided to go to a game jam here in town. And a game jam is just where you get with a team or with a group of people and create a video game in 48 hours. So we'd never made a video game before in our lives. Uh, my background is animation, obviously, and 3D modeling. And my cousin Walker really uh, dove into some programming a few months before. So we were both very fresh on making video games. We went to the jam, and the theme was rituals. So we sat down and we're like, okay, we're going to do a rock, paper, scissor kind of ritual where you're this severed hand doesn't look like much of a hand. And you're going to fight rock monsters and paper monsters and a scissor bad guy. Now, granted, most of that didn't happen in the game. Um, so I'm going to show you some gameplay footage of the game. I don't know how well this will look. I'm going to turn the volume off. So, Angelique, she made a... A video of our game which we are really excited about so you're this hand and you are just trying to basically jump over stuff and not die not fall off the desk and I had lots of animations in here it's a game jam so it's really really quick it's really rough most of the times and our animations didn't work like our walk cycle run cycle none of our attacks worked but you're this silly little hand with terrible controls and it was a lot of fun to make <clears throat> And we ended up winning the game jam. <clears throat> I know, right? Crazy. But from there, we're like, oh, this was really, really neat. So after that, we decided, you know what? We love the idea of running around as a severed hand. Kind of reminded us of Glover from N64. So we revamped Hansy. So the idea of this... <clears throat> Um, was that you're a severed zombie hand looking for your body and currently this is a demo that you can download for free but we kind of stopped there we really enjoyed making the worlds making animations actually work so it was a lot of fun and we created orbital defender but we're gonna come back to that so at this point right after orbital defender we're like, oh, let's make a game studio. So we called ourselves The Floor is Lava. And it was a really fun name, but we decided, like, ah, that's kind of a mouthful. Yeah, we are Floor is Lava Games, and as fun as it is, we decided to change it. So we changed our game studio to Virtuous Game Studio. Uh, my cousin Walker created the logo, and then we had an unofficial studio. But a few months in, after we created um, Swipe a Mole, which is a VR game, we won't talk much on that. Uh, you pick up the moles that pop up out of the ground and then you throw them into the wood chipper. Awesome. Um, but we found out that if you Google Virtuous Game Studio or Virtuous Games, every single time it says, Did you mean Virtuos Games? So apparently Virtuos is this giant video game publisher in Singapore, it looks like, in China. And anybody who were to Google our name, this would pop up. And nothing of ours would pop up. So we're like, oh, that's bad news. So <clears throat> we changed our name for the last and final time to Bravado Game Studio. Now we are officially licensed with the state of Missouri, so it's Bravado Game Studio LLC, and we have hit the ground running, and we took our old Game Jam game, Orbital Defender, which originally looked like this. We made this in a weekend, just like the Hansy game, and you're this little ship that orbits the sun, and you are just shooting these planets uh, before they crash into the sun. Pretty simple, but it was a lot of fun, arcade style. So now you are pretty much caught up to speed on the history of our game studio, uh, what it took to get to this point. And in our next video, we are going to talk about our brand new game that's not actually quite brand new, but it looks really, really good. 
um, in the next devlog. So thank you so much. See you later.